A uh, return nine years in the making. Don McLean made it back, and you got a good one in addition sure to some super gold as a gift. 76-74, Washington State snaps Colorado's five-game winning streak. And now they'll have Utah coming in for a weekend at Ernie's. And I'm getting the feeling that C.J. Ellaby's becoming one of your favorite yeah, players. He really is, and he changed the game in the second half. He scored, but it wasn't it wasn't all that for me. It was like his, his energy, his edge. He had a couple key defensive plays but got buckets when they needed it because Franks, they were doing a good job on him early in the second half. But Ellaby came in off the bench again tonight and changed the complexion of the game. Shane Gatling did not shoot the ball well in the first half, but in the second half started filling it up from three. He made just one of seven in the first, but his shooting kept Colorado in the game. It did because a couple times it looked like Washington State had the momentum and was going to stretch out the lead. But every time that happened, Gatling had the answer from deep. This is a great college basketball game tonight that came down to the wire. And this is the final sequence. What gave Washington State the lead here? This is not the very last possession, but this is how they took the lead. On the way put back, strong effort. Great decision here by McKinley Wright. Go for the win. Just missed it. They oh. get another chance. And then Schwartz, you're right. Guy, that wouldn't have counted, I don't think, even if it had gone in. The possession error favored Colorado. That's why they got that last shot with five tenths. And uh, Washington State shot it well. Ahmed Ali was three of three from beyond the arc. Ellaby and Franks, 37 of the 76. And it was a great game, back and forth. And now this is six of the last seven meetings between these two teams, separated by five points or later. Colorado goes off to take on Washington, or the Cougs will host Utah here in Pullman on Saturday.